Hi there, uh, welcome to yet another lottery generator. If I click on this pin button, this is what you guys see. Can you say it? What's happening is the spinner actually generate the numbers automatically you can see my mouse i'm not doing anything with it i've not clicked or done anything so far rather than just move it around but if i click on the stop spinner and that is what you see it automatically select five numbers and two star numbers which is equivalent to euro lottery if i click on the spin the lottery again and that is what you see stop spinning stop spin stop so what i'm going to do now is take you back or take you to the code view so that you guys see how i've put together this uh, brief tutorial it's going to be brief i'll just show you the codes and show you the object that we used let's go into the design view first here in the design view the only thing i've done is uh, i've added seven labels you can see all oh, the text box or text field sorry seven text field the first five is to generate from 1 to 50 and the last two those two text box are just to generate uh, star numbers and the label right there or the icon is just a label from one of my who wants to be a millionaire now these two buttons right here are the trigger buttons that are all the trigger objects that I'm using the form itself if I right click on the form and go to window activated I've set the background to black can you see that this dots get content that set background color black now let's go back to the design design view right there on the design view if I right click on this spinner or the trigger button right there go to I've actually used my mouse click right here as the mouse click and there you will find all my codes let's start with i'm going to come back to this i will explain what's happening there is what is known as a lambda expression if you see it the system is actually advising me to convert can you guys see that okay advising me to convert this timer expression to lambda expression I've used the lambda expression it works but the problem is I couldn't stop the the number generated so I had to come back to the old method right here which is right here that's the timer so I actually re resulted into using the old technique that's my variable there right there timer and which I I have uh, declared right in here that's the name of my file I've declared it right in there timer and the following integer were declared these are to store the numbers that will be generated the force five number and the two star numbers these are then converted to string that are then displayed into the text box and that is all take a good look at it those are the variables declared timer class timer integer string 
Okay, now let's come down to my button right there. That's my button right there. That is my now my timer. What I've done is I've initialized the timer with uh, that is uh, one hundred of a second or millisecond, one hundred millisecond. I can always change that to one thousand or whatever. I show you guys when I change this. Then uh, new action list now. So if we scroll down, you might be wondering why have I empty out all of the text field. If I don't empty out all of the text field, it will keep repeating itself over and over again, filling up the text field. That's why for every hundred of a second, the text field is cleared out. And right here, and I have my random number generated as you can see is up to 49 plus 1 so if there's 0 it becomes 1 if it's 49 it becomes 50 because the euro note lottery number is something to do with uh, something like uh, 50 and so on I repeated the same thing to the next five lottery numbers uh, lottery boxes then the other two right here these are the star numbers you can see it's 1 plus 10 because it's 1 to 11 and that's it and that's all there is to it right here once I click on the button and here's the timer that starts spinning the numbers okay there it is that's the spinner right there the last bit is just the button that says stop timer dot stop let me show you that so what I've used in here is action action perform click on that and right there that's just a code that stops it action perform stop okay I will now run the lottery or run the program and you guys see how it works touch one or two things Put them out of space and you guys will see what will happen let's uh, run the program right now and that is it guys you see that that's how it works so what I would do now is just disrupt one or two functions in there and you guys will see what I'm talking about stop the spinning and that come into the program right here I will comment out one of those two clear functions. Look at that. Oh, let me and let me comment out this as well. Maybe add one more. And you see what will happen. So let's run the program again. Can you see that guys? This are the commented out button or text field, sorry. You can see the number kept repeating itself. That is why I've used clear functions just to get rid of the numbers. Every hundred of a second, the numbers of this following are all stopped. Can you see them? Okay, so let's go back and you see what I mean. So, uncomment that, which is uh, that's a very smart move actually for every hundred of a second and what you see is the numbers are we start all over okay now the system is back you see that guys I'll just show you one more thing and uh, we just call it bye for now